Hello and welcome to your preview of Training to Go modules presented by Technical Sales and Consulting. At the end of the preview, we will provide how to access more information about our training products. Thanks for visiting and we hope you enjoy the preview. Engineers need to make a determination if manual or electrical operation is required. Electrical operation is achieved by a motor operator. The spring charging motor is engaged whenever the spring charge is depleted. The control circuit includes a limit switch and an anti-pump relay that controls the circuit. Many engineers opt to manually operate the breaker by using a charging handle. A few cranks allows for a complete charge of the spring mechanism. Once the spring is charged, the handle has a mechanical linkage to prevent overcharging. You may have heard the term two-step stored energy when it comes to describing the operating mechanism of a breaker. Simply stated, the first step is to charge a closing spring and the second step involves using that energy to close the breaker. The mechanism consists of a separate opening and closing spring. The closing spring can be charged independent of the opening status. The spring, when charged, stores the necessary energy for a quick opening and closing that in turn minimizes the arc. Let's examine this in more detail. Here is the operational panel of a breaker. Note that the breaker status window shows open and the spring status shows discharged. The design sequence begins with charging the breaker either manually or electrically. Note the position is still open, however the spring status indicator changes to yellow, charged. Next the breaker can be closed. Note the status flag shows closed and the spring is discharged. Now the breaker can be recharged, which allows for an open, close, open cycle. Hi, we hope you enjoyed a sample video of our online e-learning module. This clip is from one of our many available modules. We are always working on new modules, but here is the current list of developed lessons. Low voltage motor control, molded case circuit breakers, insulated case circuit breakers, low voltage power breakers, medium voltage switchgear, medium voltage control, motor control centers, transformers, contactors, operator's devices, and lastly, variable frequency drives. Outlines, pricing, previews, and requests for information are available at tsnc.com slash e-learning. Let our training to go programs train your people while you run your business.